So before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank Leapfrog for sponsoring today's video and tell y'all a little bit about Millie's new favorite toy. And if you have a little toddler, a little one around Millie's age, maybe a little bit younger, a little bit older, I believe this is such a great Christmas present this year for them. So this is Bailey, the Leapfrog interactive speak and learn puppy. And Bailey talks to your little one and encourages your little one to also talk back to her. So coming up in just a minute, Millie and I are going to kind of demonstrate what all Bailey does and what Millie loves about Bailey, but she is a great just learning toy. She talks back and forth to develop conversation between her and your little one. She has three different songs that Millie loves to dance to and interact to. She has activities to introduce animals, letters, and numbers. And to me, I always love toys that are fun for my little ones, but also help them learn as well. And the Leapfrog Interactive Speak and Learn Puppy will help develop their core learning skills, speaking, vocabulary, letter sounds, and counting. <music> You say your ABCs? A, B, C, D. Does Bailey sing her ABCs? <gasps> Wiggle your ears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where's Bailey's eyes? Where's her nose? Where's Bailey's nose? Where's her nose? Where's her feet? Yeah, where's her hair? Where's Bailey's hair? Where's her belly? Can you press her belly? Say, my name is Millie. My name is Millie. I love you. 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 A, B, C, D. Dog. Mom went to the park. Everyone was happy to see Mom. They had a lot of fun. A uh, sheep says bah. Now you say bah. Yesterday I was playing with my friend sheep. <laughs> sheep loves to say. <laughs> So if you have a little one around Millie's age, I highly recommend the Speak and Learn Puppy from Leapfrog. Millie loves hers. And if you're looking for a great Christmas present for your little one or a little one that you know, definitely recommend Bailey the Interactive Puppy. Good morning. It is Monday morning and it is about 7.45. Waiting on all the girls to get up. Rian's awake and she is watching the tablet for a few minutes. I'm trying to wait on the other girls so I can fix breakfast for everybody and get ready for a school day. But I thought I'd bring y'all along for our day and vlog today and just show our day um, and just bring y'all along. But the Delaney and Millie are still asleep. So in the next five minutes, I'm gonna have to go wake them up so we can start breakfast this morning. So on school mornings, I try to get myself completely ready before the girls get up. And that's what I'm usually able to accomplish, thankfully. Um, I even have a lot load of laundry going this morning. Like I'm on top of it this morning. So um, we are going to go get the girls up if they're not up in the next five minutes. So I ha also have a little grocery order this morning. I went ahead and placed a little order. Uh, we fig I figured out what I'm fixing for Thanksgiving. And so we I went ahead and placed my Walmart order that way. I can get all I need and whatever they don't have, I can run and grab it at the local grocery store just right up the road from us when Ethan got home. But I wanted to at least get the majority of my stuff on the Walmart grocery order. So I'm going to show y'all what I'm cooking for Thanksgiving this year and um, our little grocery haul from that. So we're going to go pick that up this morning as soon as we can get out the door. And so I'm getting ready to make breakfast. Let's go get the girls up and let's continue our day.
Apparently mama is a little bit more on the struggle bus than she thought because we brought her into school and got there and realized we forgot our lunchbox on the counter. <laughs> At least I made it. I just totally forgot it as I was walking out the door. So we're having, I had to get my groceries because I was already late getting those. And so my plan was to try to get it before school, try to go get them. But then I waited just because I didn't know how long it would take and I didn't want it to be late. So I did go get the groceries. We went to another grocery store super quickly to grab one more thing that we needed that I showed two things at the grocery store that Walmart didn't have. So let me show y'all our little Thanksgiving, little Thanksgiving grocery haul that we're gonna, um, that I'm gonna be cooking and the things from that. And then we've gotta run this back to Ren School so she can have lunch today. All right, so first of all, I got these for dinner. I went ahead and got a thing of plates for it. I got, I'm gonna make some stuffing, but it calls for, um, it's like homemade, or not stuffing, dressing. It's like homemade dressing, but it does call for a couple things of a uh, boxed stuffing mix. So, um, seems like a pretty easy recipe, but it has other things that goes in it as well. Um, I got some raspberries. We got some bacon set. I got some baking things to do some things with. Some baking powder, um, some grits, um, some spices that I needed that I didn't think I had. Um, got some ground cloves, ground ginger, um, sage, and some allspice, as well as some vanilla extract. Then I got some cranberries. I'm gonna make homemade cranberry sauce. Um, first time I've ever done that, but I've always wanted to do it, so we're, I'm gonna make that for dinner, or for lunch, dinner, whatever. I got chicken broth, I got a couple things of goldfish for snacks, as well as some applesauce. I got some walnuts. I'm gonna use these. We're gonna make some banana bread. I've got some bananas that banana are gonna go bread? bad. Yes, you wanna help me make that later? I've got bananas that are gonna go bad. I got some relish. I'm gonna make some um, deviled eggs as well. So I got a big thing of eggs for that and then a small thing for us. I got some Link Cuisines just yeah. for me for lunches. I love the white cheddar mac and cheese. Yeah. And then I grabbed a little pizza yeah. as well. Yeah. Then I grabbed a couple onions, some celery, some toaster strudels. You want applesauce? Um, I got a big thing of freezer bags, and then I got these little casserole pans to bring, and then some all-purpose flour. So I've got to put up this cold stuff real quick, and we've got to head out. Bring her lunch. All right. Got the lunchbox. All right, laundry's getting done. I got about half of the darks folded. I'm getting ready. Let's go make some banana bread. Do you want to go make some banana bread? You want to go get banana bread? I think I'm gonna make some banana bread. Actually, banana nut bread. That is my favorite. I love banana nut bread. Every time I have some bananas that are about to go bad, I keep saying I'm gonna make it, and then I end up not having all my ingredients, but I made sure to get everything today. I've got three bananas that are not gonna last much longer. They're perfect for banana bread. So I'm gonna make some banana bread, and then I can't decide if I'm gonna cook supper tonight or we may do takeout. I think I'll cook, but I'm not for sure yet, so stay tuned for that. Um, but let's do some banana bread. I'm going to grab my ingredients. And I was actually going to do this with Delaney today for like a little homeschool cooking baking lesson. Um, baking lesson. But we didn't get around to it with everything else going on we've had today. Um, so I think I'm going to get this done. They are playing so good in there. So I think I'm going to get the banana bread done. Get everything ready and make some banana bread. This is such an easy recipe. I will have it typed out below. And it turned out so good as well. Um, but the ingredients for this recipe are walnuts. So you don't have to use those. Um, but I like banana nut bread. Vanilla, bacon powder, bacon soda, bananas of course. Salt, sugar, all-purpose flour, um, some butter eggs i think it's two eggs and then some cinnamon which i could not find my cinnamon so it definitely would have made it a little bit better if i had that um but i'm gonna start by mashing three ripe bananas make sure that your bananas are very ripe and um they're just a lot more sweeter when you get them like with brown all over them um no green bananas or anything like that um but i'm mashing those and then we will add a few other ingredients and then after your bananas are smashed, um, I added some butter, and I, like I said, I will add all the exact ingredients and how much below, but some melted butter, and then two eggs that were at room temperature, 
and then two thirds, I believe it was two thirds cup of sugar and then a teaspoon of vanilla and giving that a really good stir before I added some dry ingredients. And then I went ahead and added two cups of all purpose flour and then I gave that just a little stir to kind of get that mixed a little bit and then I added some baking soda and baking powder and then some salt and gave that a stir trying not to over stir it just enough where it was mixed and then lastly I added a few walnuts I didn't want to add too many just in case the girls didn't like those in it and then put it in a loaf pan and cooked it for close to an hour um, on 350 in the oven and it turned out absolutely delicious Christmas movies around here. That's pretty much how we've been watching non-stop Christmas movies, Home Alone. What else? The Santa Claus movies. All the Home Alones, all Whoa, the Santa Claus, and the non-stop around here. Definitely getting in that Christmas spirit. It's cooking, I know. Yes, it is starting to rise, which is what it's supposed to do. I did Mama, add did I just a few chocolate chips Mama. on the top just to add it a little Yay, something different. It looks good, Mama. Yeah, I think it does look good. I think it'll be good with those. Just a few chocolate, just a little bit of chocolate on there. All right, we're, it's got about 10 minutes left, but I'm gonna go ahead and check it. I don't have any toothpicks, so by the way, I changed clothes into something a little more comfy. Um, it looks so good. I don't wanna get it overdone though. So we're just going to check it like this and see if it comes out clean. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it the whole time, just to be sure. At least five more minutes. But it looks so yummy. Ethan's on his way home with some Chick-fil-A. He was going to grab it instead of going out once he got home. Which makes it easy because he's coming right by there on his way home from work. Chick-fil-A just sounded so good tonight. We haven't had it in so long. And it just sounded really good to the kids as well. So, in for dessert. I'm excited to try this banana bread. Um, it looks delicious. Also, got the laundry caught up. Mondays are my biggest laundry days from over the weekend because i usually try to only i do laundry every other day but during the weekend i don't so it's like every it's like three days worth so i always have three bigger loads of laundry and so finally i got all well no actually i have whites in the dryer that i'll probably do a little bit later but the darks are definitely the biggest task come huh, millie what's in chicken nuggets and banana bread and french fries and fruit did i get you fruit or french fries I get you some fruit. What you got on your yeah. face? <laughs> you want to sit? Look, where's Daddy? Is he almost home? Is Daddy coming? All right. So the girls and I are gonna split. Split. We'll split the banana bread, and we're gonna try it because it'll be a few more minutes for. Oh yeah, it's like perfect, super moist. Okay, so let's put some butter on it. Just a little bit of butter and spread it. Oh, uh Ryan. -oh, Look, look, we're gonna, no, I'm gonna, listen, bad. listen, listen. Bad. I'm gonna give each bad. of us a bite. That's good. Love it. You like it? Mm-hmm. I love it, I love it, I want more of it. <laughs> Y'all should make that. Not really yeah, cold. Yeah, I cooked it just under an hour, probably like 50 to 55 minutes. It's delicious. All right, Millie. Ren Ren, sit down, you can have yours. And Delaney. Fruit. fruit. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are finishing up bath time. I need to reorganize some of these pajamas. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Getting Rand's pajamas and then Lainey's. Millie's ready. The big girls are taking a shower. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am going to run take my makeup off. Get some work done tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for my day. Just a simple day. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye.